Yesterday, I rented this camper van in North Carolina. It cost me $1,500 and I have it for the next six days. My first adventure sees me driving two hours south to Lexington, South Carolina. I'm catching up with my good friends, Josh and Haley, otherwise known as Harry Tornado. Now, I thought this was gonna be a relaxed trip to the flea market to find some things to sell on eBay, but Josh had a different idea. He's challenged me to find enough items at the flea market and the Goodwill bins to sell onto his whatnot that very same day in an effort to pay off my $1,500 camper van rental. In this video, you're gonna see the entire journey from me sourcing the items to selling the items on whatnot and ultimately seeing whether or not I'm able to achieve that $1,500 in sales on the very same day. It's gonna be a massive one. Let's do it. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good. Did you meet Matt last year when he came from Australia? Australia? Yeah. I saw the video. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Nice to meet you. Nice good to, to see you man. again. Back in town last year. Yeah, yeah. Good it's been here. been a year. Good to be back. So while I was out here, I was actually trying to crunch the numbers to see how many listings we would actually need on whatnot to generate $1,500 in sales. And I think at a $15 average sale price, which is pretty typical for whatnot items, we're going to need about 100 items this morning between the flea market and also the Goodwill bins. This table here, this connection yeah. that Josh and Haley have with this vendor oh, is gonna go a long like, way to us being able to hit those numbers. Wow. Green Goblin, yeah, yeah, this is awesome stuff. Yeah, right. yeah. Do these uh, Atari games, are they Atari, are they? Yeah. yeah like do they do well? Yeah. Or yeah, Atari? I don't mess with it. Well, no. How come you right here, you? Tecmo Bowl. Very cool. Pokemon, Japanese. Gotta do anything Pokemon, surely. Have a look at Josh over here, just, just line, lining them up. How much are the t-shirts, sir? Five a piece. The Halloween theme today, I have a few of these. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. Oh, that is very cool. It's very long. Yeah, it is. Almost like a tall T, or is it a 2XL? Yeah. That's that's awesome. We'll definitely add both of these. And that's two XL as well. That's a Friday the thirteenth one. Yeah, those are pretty good. Oh, I wouldn't have even done that. Another another it's like because like the stuff here that does well and whatnot for us is the same stuff that would do well on eBay for you. Yes. You know, like all the like the random graphic tees and stuff. Yeah, the graphic the tees. The ones you got last time. The graphic tees do really well. Have you heard of Bucky's? Yes, you that's. Done? No, I haven't. I haven't done it yet. If only we had one near here. That's it's really like two cool. Hours away. Two hours. Wow. Yeah. I was saying to Haley this morning, Bojangles. I haven't done that yet. Oh yeah. That's got to be ticked off. Yeah. Josh is Josh is looking at the table here, guys. It's all just so cool. Man. It There's is. Nothing like fancy, but like. It's just fun. Get it. Clean. Yeah, I don't. I saw that. I didn't know who that was. But somebody in the comments is probably saying, "How do you not know that?" What do you think about these cards? I don't know. They're from the '90s, and I think all these companies are like, "Oh, you know, baseball cards are big. Let's make cards of Alf and cards of Looney Tunes." So it was mass produced. Yeah, I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know that, but I'm assuming. This is a collection that we've got building up over here. A lot of t-shirts. Big lot of t-shirts and a lot of like little fun bits and pieces that are sort of perfect for whatnot. But I'm a ghost vomit for 450 and you come back. See, you're good at the negotiation. I'll just stand here. What should we do now? What's our strategy? You're good at negotiation. Are you good at negotiation? Well, if it was me and you said 450, I'd say 350. And then you'd say. I'll say 400. I'll take it. I'll say 400. <laughs> I'll, and then I would say 375. Yeah, I'll go 400. 400. That's 200 a piece. Yeah. Split between y'all. Anybody. Let's do it. You're not going to find that much stuff in one. Uh, one you're, you're, you're right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. 400 dollars. 400. Pay the man, Matt. I can pay the man. <laughs> I can. I can. We'll, we'll, we'll split it. Split hey, we'll do 200 each because I got the 200. We'll split it and then we can like draft. Have you ever seen people that do the draft? I'm happy with the draft. I'm happy with that. Absolutely. How you doing? How much on those? Seven. Seven each. Would you do fifteen? Eight. Mm. I'll leave them. All good. 
Thank you. Fifteen? Yeah. All right. Does, does brat dolls do well for you? What is it? Brats. Oh, brat dolls. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah. They are a big, big seller back in Australia. Yeah. Um, she actually just said she's got thirty or forty that are going to be coming next week. Wow. wow. Yeah. We'll buy them for you and then ship them. We'll cut a deal for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, they go for great, like twenty each. Thank you very much. Um, ten, so thirty. I reckon these three. Would you do tw uh, 20 for three? Uh, 20 for three. Take the three for sure. 20, yep. Thank you. Car hat for us does very, very well. So three hats, 20 bucks, add it to the collection. Don't know if it'll be a big whatnot seller, but it'll, it'll come home with me at least. These for sale? Yes, Yep. Yeah, yeah. How much on the hats? The, um, you know, the blue or ten. Ten down there? Yeah, the other, no, I'm saying some of them are five. Some are five? Yeah, these I could do for like three or, you know, stuff like that, because they all, you know. A bit older. I them up and stuff. Yeah, a little older. <laughs> I be doing the most. Yeah. I need to try to take better care of stuff, but I be moving in the car with all this stuff. We've got the Roethlisberger. <laughs> 25? It's mm -hmm. not too bad. So 25 for me is about 33, 35. NFL players, medium. You do 20? Oh, wow. So it's like $25. It is a little worn, though. You can see there's some marks there. I don't have any jerseys on this trip. don't know if this is... It's pretty cool. Size, is it? It's a medium. 20... I'd try for 15. That'd be $20 for the jersey Australian. Um, so 15 on that. This is what I'm thinking here. I'm going to go with... I like these. So I'm going to go 15. I'm going to try for three. I'm going to try for three. So that I'd be saying, say 20. I like this one. Clippers, old school Blake Griffin. Those short. Shorts. Buccaneers. Buccaneers shorts. NFL equipment. Buccaneers, that's kind of cool. Nike as well. XL. I actually like that. I like it. I'm in a buying mood, guys. So I like that. I like all my sports stuff. 15. Try for 30. Ah, oh, sorry, 20. Let's see, 30, 35. How, what do you think on these? 35. That's 20. You got 20 on that? I'm doing this for 10. Okay. Was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was doing this one for 10. I was going to do that one for at least 3. And then I was going to do these for at least 8. You know what I'm saying? So. That's a good okay. deal then. Yes, sir. Let's do 35. Okay. No worries. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, guys, we have filled up the trolley or the cart. Um, oh, that looks good too. I just can't stop seeing stuff that I want to buy. Like I just saw this, just a Ford hat. Just, you know, I love my hats. There's a lot of hats here, actually. They're brand new with tags as well. Ford, Ford, Ford. These got like five of them. And then these Clemson hats as well. Um, pretty nervous about this whatnot show tonight. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be an interesting experience because I really want to be using Whatnot when they come to Australia. And if you're not familiar about Whatnot, uh, it's basically just a live selling platform. Um, so we're going to buy all these goods that we've, we've got here now and we're going to be putting them onto Whatnot tonight. So Josh and Haley are going to talk to, talk to me about how to actually set it up because that's one thing I don't know, how to list that's it all. That's the easy part. That's the easy part? Yeah. But the actual work is actually live selling it. Um, really got to be out there and really trying to sell these items off and get the bids rolling because it is on bids. And then we'll, we'll actually we'll talk about it more later on. But 
I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. We had a bit of a break at Chick-fil-A. We grabbed some breakfast and to be honest with you guys, that was actually really delicious. But we were planning our tack. We knew we had 50 items towards the 100 that we needed. Sourcing location number two was the Goodwill Bins. Now, this was a really unique experience, especially for me as an Australian. A bunch of random trays of goods and a really fair price point as well. Just $1.89 per pound. So we're basically getting these items for, well, almost free. So let's go and find the 50 more we need. Footballs. A Wilson football NCAA use size. MTV throwback music party game. You just don't know if they're all in there. Matilda VHS. Oh, what a find. That's incredible. Yeah. That's amazing. That's 100% worth grabbing. This is so different to the LA bins. Yeah. Surely that Mickey, no? I don't know, just, just like the basic one. Yeah, it's really dirty. Really dirty, yeah. Probably get this Tinkerbell though. She's got like this hair on it. We can hit her with like a lint roller. That might come off. Might be able to get it off. I haven't seen the actual dirt on there. No, that'd be worth it. Hey, hey, man. How you doing? Hey, this is, uh, I know your buddy likes those calculators. Oh, amazing. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Got a TI-84 Plus. Amazing. I want to find something for him now. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. This is a yeah. pro, this is a pro Goodwill Bin Hunter. And this is an Aussie. Stuff was not like new today, and so then half a price. Of it, like, was like picked over, but yeah. yeah, you gotta like just get in and like just go. dive That's in. Fine. What's your best? Oh, Haley, that is yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever found a console here, so that and, was pretty cool. and the, the bag, and the bag. Yeah. That's in, was that early on? Yeah, I mean, it was like in the bottom of one of the bins. Well done. That's what people do is they like dig through the top and if they can't find anything, they like leave. But you've got to go to the bottom. You never know. You've got to you go to the bottom. No one does it. Yeah. And I've got the reach too. Right. I don't have an ex I've got no yeah. excuse in the world. Well, guys, I've got to say, this was the point in time where I was starting to get a little bit nervous about this challenge. You see, these guys, Josh and Haley, they do it every single week. So they know what they're looking for and they know the whatnot platform that they're selling on. I know, I only know eBay and I don't know the Goodwill bins either. So I wasn't actually finding as many items. As you can see there with my bag, there wasn't a lot of quantity of stock. We need 50 items and we're quite pressed for time as well because we've got to actually get home, list it all up onto whatnot and then obviously sell it and then ship it off. And we're trying to get that $1,500. I need to find stock and I was really, really battling to find it. Fortunately though, I did have Josh and Haley in my corner and they were looking for some stuff for me to try and round out these items that we needed. All right. All right. So I picked this up. It's just like, I mean, little pendants, but these will do really well for the one free. They do really well. Yeah. Awesome. And a mixed so, mix set of teams yes. there, it looks like too. Yep. And then we found two, what's um, Two Halo masks. Oh, they are yeah. awesome. Are you sure you don't want those, Josh? I'm 100% sure. You could wear them on a Tuesday night, maybe? I could, yeah. I've actually got a whole set. I've got a whole costume of them. Have you really? But that's going to add to your $1,500. See, guys, this is the sort of stuff that I wouldn't normally buy to sell onto yeah. eBay or bring back home to Australia. Yeah. So I, I'd probably well, just man, overlook. Here, so here, they're going to cost it's like 85 cents per pound. So those are going to cost... 85 cents per pound. Probably yeah. a dollar. Wow. And yeah. you can get five to ten, ten... We could put them together in like one auction and probably get like 10 bucks for the pair. I think I'm just not comprehending the cheapness of the item. Yeah. Yeah, for the it's resale purpose. Yeah. It's almost free. It's all, <laughs> so if it's half good, you just take it. Yeah. Look at this stuff that these guys have got here. Yeah. We've got two pro Goodwill bins pickers right here. They know exactly what they're doing. You see these videos every single week. They know what they're after and they find it. Even, even on half off day when there is literally everybody here. Unreal. What do you think? $47. 47. $47 for everything. Wow. $47. $47. Ah. 
So it was time for us to get back home. We ended up counting up all the items that we were able to pick up today and it actually came to a total of 81 listings for whatnot. So we have kind of fallen short of the 100 listings that we need. I'm not sure if that means that we're gonna fall short of our $1,500. It just means that our average sale price is gonna to have to be slightly higher. I still think it's possible though. Yeah, I was just saying to Josh, like we don't have it back in Australia. So to be able to come over here and give this a go and Josh, and Haley both being kind enough to let me run my first ever whatnot show to what will feel like a stadium of people um, because I won't really know what I'm got, what's going on with all the bidding that'll take place and all the all oh, you'll know. I'll, I'll know but you'll know. Yeah. it'll it'll be all the um, all the little intricacies that goes along with whatnot that's so different to eBay that I've I've seen I was watching at FlipCon um, how these guys were doing it and it was just so fast paced and you've really got to be energetic and engaged as you're selling these items. Um, so yeah, if we can set everything up correctly now, uh, it'd be very interesting to see what the results are. One of the best things about Whatnot though is it is actually quite a simple process to list up these items, to have scheduled, ready to go for whenever you want to put it live on auction. So Josh actually stepped me through this and then I went ahead and assisted Josh in putting in a bunch of listings, ultimately having 81 ready to go for the show. All right guys, it is three o'clock, so I'm about to jump on Whatnot. There's the setup right there. The guys are gonna help step me through it. It's really gonna, this is gonna be an exciting thing to see how I go and. Uh, to see what we can make from it. So we'll jump into it now. I think there's about 80 items to sell. Looking forward to it. There's 27 people here already. Wow. Hopefully there's some interest. I'm looking forward to it. Sorry if I'm a little slow on the whole process. These guys are going to step me through it. It's literally the first time. But we don't have one on in Australia. He's a bit nervous, I'm mate. A bit, I'm a bit new and nervous. Shaking, shaking like a wet dingo, baby. <laughs> Uh, what an awesome experience that was to be able to jump on and give it a crack. I've just got the numbers here of what we're able to do. Josh has actually called this show Aussie Van Challenge. We've got 41 pending shipments there. Uh, it was a total of 81 sales. So we sold every single item that we listed up, which I just think is crazy. That Talk about sell-through rate. You know that the minute you buy it, it will at least leave the house. Uh, and there's our number. We did $1,000 in total sales. Literally in just... In two hours, I think, maximum, we were, we were live. Less than two hours. An hour 45. We're doing some thank you cards here, which I think is a really nice touch. I'm putting the Aussie flipper. Josh has just put Harry Tornado. Um, bagging it up there in a nice little poly bag. That's been the biggest thing that I've taken away from this America trip. I would love whatnot to come to Australia. I'm ready. I've had experience. I've got my uh, training wheels off. I feel like I'm ready to hit the ground running with it. And hopefully it can be some awareness for you guys out there as well. If you guys want to do this, if you think that the live selling thing could be a fit to your personality, maybe you think it'd be a fun way to sell items. Um, I, 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 having spoken to whatnot, know that they are coming to Australia. It's just a matter of when, um, which hopefully might not be too far away from the conversations that I've been having with them at least anyway. So yeah, unique experience today. A huge thank you to Josh. I, I mentioned it before, but I wanted to say it again, Josh. Thank you very much. It was just a real thrill to be able to experience that firsthand and actually do a whatnot show. I'm officially the first Australian to do a whatnot show. Yeah. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, and a thousand dollars in sales. So it just shows the potential. That wasn't the only story that played out on this day though. I've got a moment here on camera where I actually captured Josh finding his greatest ever Goodwill bins find. It was 65 cents that sold for $1,500 on eBay. So I'm gonna leave that video for you right here to go and check out. It was a pretty crazy find.